I'm Florentin, Product Manager of the Search Ads tool. And today I'd like to show you how you can create campaigns, manage them directly from AppTweak, but also how you can bring ASO Insights to your ASC. So let's get started. First, you're on the home page where you see all your data for all your apps and all your integrations. If you create a new campaign, you have a selection of templates that really help you through the process and you simply have to fill the required fields and the keywords will be added at the end on the keywords page I present. Then if you expand one of those cards, you will see all your data per country and uh, over the selected date range. To access the campaign's data directly, you can simply click on one of those countries or to the app itself. Here you'll see a quick reporting where you can have aggregated views for any metrics you want or any breakdowns by campaigns or by country. Then right below, you'll see a table with all your campaigns with all your ESC metrics as it is on the console. To access the ad groups of the campaign, you click on it and to access the keywords, you will click on the ad groups as well. Once you're on the keywords page, that's where things get super interesting because we add so much more info that you would find on the Apple console. For instance, we also add all the ASO, ASO insights that you would find in ASO intelligence. So for example, the volume and rank, which can be super useful to make proper decisions. You can decide all the metrics you want to see by clicking on the config box on the right. You can also add MMP metrics if you connect your adjust or ad flyer console. Those MMP metrics would then appear for both your campaigns, ad groups, and on the keyword table. You can easily uh, edit your max CPT by clicking right here in the cells and we will directly sync the changes and send them to the Apple console. You can also add more keywords and that's one of the main benefits of using AppTweak because we provide millions of keywords recommendations. So for instance, we will detect which keywords appear in your metadata, which keywords are already in other keyword lists and we benefit from our smart intelligence systems or AI algorithms to find all the relevant keywords gravitating around the term. So for instance, if you type transport, in one click, we will see all the, the keywords that relate to transport, you see, grouped by category, Paris, taxi, train, and so on. Then maybe you'd like to automate your keywords, right? So you'd like to set up some rules and have something running in the background for you. So for instance, if you select some keywords, you can click on automate, create a new rule, and in a few click, select uh, on which metrics you'd like this condition to be applied. And for example, you'd like to increase uh, by a certain percentage your bits until it reaches a certain cost per tap. So in this case, let's say this. This rule is then created. You can start this, and it means that for those two keywords I selected, we will check if the conditions are met and if they are, we will apply the associated actions. To find all those rules, uh, you can go to the automation tab where you, you find all the rules here and also the monitoring section where we can watch which rules are applied when. The next section is custom product pages. That's where you can find all your ad variants across your integrations, where you can filter them by country, and you can also see here all their reporting data. So you don't have to go to each ad group individually within Campaigns Manager. Then you will find audits, and that's a place where you can find all your duplicated keywords. To remove keywords that are repeated in one country and for one app across campaigns and across ad groups so that you make sure that each keyword is present only once in each country and that you don't spread your data and your reporting uh, for the same keywords in different places. For example, here you find that there is only one keyword that needs to be removed. So if I click here, I say this keyword is repeated twice. I can remove maybe the first one based on the data I see. And once it's done, I just need to publish the changes and that's it. I make sure now that only this keyword is only present once in France for that app. The last section I want to talk about is benchmarks. And that's where you'll find lots of market insights about the different search as metrics. So for instance, you will know what's the median CPT per region, what's the, the highest quartile, the lowest quartile, also, what are the median cost per tap or cost per acquisitions? So, for example, you will see that branded campaigns, usually it's much cheaper than competitors and generic campaigns. But you can also filter by any of those categories and any of those countries. So that's really a powerful way to compare yourself against your peers. 
So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this really quick demo. If you have any questions, any feedback, any feature requests, I'd be more than happy to hear about them. So really don't hesitate to contact us. And that's it. Thank you very much.